from Omaha's weather leader, meteorologist Caitlin Harvey, with your accurate weather now forecast. 547 nearly here on your Sunday morning. Waking up dark and early with increasing clouds across the metro. Our exclusive Skycam network there has the view. Still pretty quiet over the sleepy metro right now. 27 cool for Omaha, 34 meanwhile Fremont as well as Glenwood 32 Council Bluffs and 25 for folks in Millard. And that's the case we're seeing really across the board mid 20s to the lower 30s. Expecting temperatures today to be mild, albeit a little bit cooler than we were yesterday. Satellite and radar playing out over the last two hours, continuing to show those increase in clouds out from the west. Do note that we're still dry, but I think that we could see a couple of sprinkles. Nothing to cancel those plans here today, and truly really most of us going to stay dry. Clouds will continue to crease, increase out from the west. We'll see mostly cloudy skies throughout the day today with a weak cold front moving through. Not quite as warm, but at least we're going to stay dry. Winds will shift out of the, from the south, out of the north, only up to about 10 miles an hour. Hi, this afternoon, again, still above average, but not as warm as yesterday, especially along and north of I-80. 41 Tacoma, 44 Columbus, meanwhile 47 Omaha. Further south, we're still into the low to mid 50s, 54 Fall City, and 51 for your Sunday in Lincoln. Now let's get into some big changes moving our way. Storm predictor as we head throughout your Sunday. There are the clouds, but still again pretty quiet. A couple of sprinkles I think still possible. As we head into this evening, whether you're watching the Super Bowl or going to bed early, it's not too much to write home about. Clearing skies by tomorrow morning, I think we could see a little bit of patchy fog, but those winds going to pick up. Lots of sunshine, still breezy, even warmer for your work week, at least to start the work week. And then change moves in overnight Monday into Tuesday morning. A chance of some showers around 20% overnight Monday into early Tuesday. And then there's that rain, wet soaking rain throughout the day on Tuesday, Valentine's Day. Even can see a few embedded uh, non severe thunderstorms, but this does look to produce a decent amount of moisture, so it's going to be a soaker throughout the day picking up about a quarter inch to three quarters of an inch, some a little bit higher. And so I will say that we're keeping a close eye on the Elkhorn Loop and Platte Rivers for possible ice jams. So do uh, keep your ears open and watch that. And then you'll want to pay attention to Wednesday into Thursday forecast models. And we've been talking about this for a few days, bringing that chance of snow in right now. Not total agreement on the path of this storm system. But what I can say is we see the chance for some winter weather impacts um, Wednesday night into Thursday. Temperatures much cooler. We'll only see a high of 22 Thursday, a low of four by Friday morning.